Rachel. Hi, how are you? I'm good. What are you doing? So excited to talk to you because I think I'm obsessed with the show. I just keep chanting boys every time I'm I'm watching an episode. I'm just obsessed. It's so good. But you have obviously worked time and time again with especially Tom Hanks on his war movies and what makes this and shows and what makes this so special is I think a lot of us are very excited about it because it's Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg back in the war realm together. So for you as a producer, what is it about this genre and working with especially Tom Hanks that makes it such a compelling thing for you to kind of get behind? Well, we like exciting true stories, you know, and we feel there's always things to learn, you know, about our us as people, you know, from these very high impact kind of situations, you know, we're fighting dictators, right? We're dealing with prejudice. We're dealing with, uh, you know, people who may not have the compassion they should have, the tolerance they should have. Um, and uh, within it all, we're going to get up in the air and just blast, <laughs> uh, drop bombs and get blasted by the Germans. And I don't know, it's exciting. And uh, I don't think we'll ever shake it. You know, the the other histories we've done, we don't need it. We did John Adams. We did things that didn't have as much action in them, but we're very proud of. But um, we we do enjoy World War II as a learning tool. Yeah, and I truly I just every time a new a new boy was introduced on this show, I was like, let's go, what's his deal? Because I do love how this show kind of navigates all of these characters for you coming at it from a production standpoint and then seeing the how the creativity of how all of these men were kind of laid out. What is the excitement of getting to tell this specific take on World War II? Well we had never been in the air. And, uh, and we decided that we would tackle it. We'd done the ground, we'd done the ocean, you know, and now uh, to get in the air, we needed the technology to catch up with what our story ideas were because uh, we didn't know that we could uh, emulate it. We didn't know we could do it properly. So we were excited, you know, to get up there and take that on. Um, all of it was more difficult than we had really imagined. Part of it being COVID was constantly lurking around. But, um, but what was the question? Just what was the excitement of getting to, you know, tell this specific version of World War II versus, like you said, the water, the land, yeah. and everything. Yeah. Hey, it was a big part. It leads us to the end of the war. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, and we we really thought that it was an important piece of it to do. Yeah, I, I love it so dearly. Like, I say that, I don't say that lightly. Like, I truly am so obsessed with this show. But before we wrap, I do have to say, you produced, I have a tattoo for Ricky and the Flash because <laughs> I'm obsessed with that movie. <laughs> so, it's great to talk to you. Wow, guys. well, I'm obsessed with Meryl Streep. I'll do anything for Meryl Streep. I think we're going to do Mamma Mia 3. Don't tease me. That is my, I love the Mamma Mia movie. It's so, I think so I need something that's a little more fun, you know what I mean? A little more music, but, you know. Mama Mia 3 is a dream. Uh, I'll come first night and every night if Mama <laughs> Mia 3. <laughs> I, uh, but thank you so much. I love that you call the actors and pilots in Masters of the Air boys. I love They're that. They're boys and boys. That's what I call them. They're boys. <laughs> they are. Uh, thank you so much for talking with me. I really appreciate it's it. Great to see you.